Hi everyone. In March of 2023, a new feature of Amazon Guard Duty became generally available. Amazon Guard Duty RDS Protection for Amazon Aurora. In this video, I am going to focus on this specific feature to give you a better understanding of how it works. Before we discuss the RDS protection feature, let's talk a little bit about Amazon Guard Duty. Amazon Guard Duty is a fully managed threat detection service that uses machine learning, anomaly detection, malware scanning, and integrated threat intelligence to identify potential malicious activity in your AWS environment. You can easily enable Amazon Guard Duty with just a few clicks in the AWS Management Console. Once enabled, it continuously monitors your AWS accounts and users, Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Instances or Amazon EC2 Instances, AWS Lambda Functions, Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service or Amazon EKS Clusters, data stored in Amazon Simple Storage Service or Amazon S3, and Amazon Aurora Database Logins for malicious activity. I am going to elaborate more about Amazon Guard Duty Threat Detection for Amazon Aurora to identify potential threats to data stored in Amazon Aurora databases. Amazon Guard Duty RDS protection can be turned on with a single action in the Amazon Guard Duty Management Console with no agents to manually deploy, no data sources to activate, and no permissions to configure. You can enable or disable the RDS protection feature for any account in any AWS region where this feature is available within Amazon Guard Duty at any time. After you enable the Amazon Guard Duty RDS protection feature, Amazon Guard Duty RDS protection immediately starts to profile and continuously monitor RDS login access to existing and new Amazon Aurora databases in your account. When you enable RDS protection for the first time, or you have a newly created database instance, a learning period is required to baseline normal behavior. For this reason, newly enabled or newly created database instances may not have an associated anomalous login finding for up to two weeks. After the learning period, Amazon Guard Duty uses its tailored machine learning models to detect suspicious logins to your Amazon Aurora databases. Once a potential threat is detected, Amazon Guard Duty generates a security finding that includes database details and rich contextual information on the suspicious activity. This is integrated with Amazon Aurora for direct access to database events without requiring you to modify your databases and is designed to not affect database performance. And because Amazon Guard Duty is fully integrated with AWS organizations, as the Amazon Guard Duty Delegated Administrator, you can choose to auto-enable RDS protection for all existing as well as new member accounts when they join your AWS organization. Now, let me show you an example of an Amazon Guard Duty RDS finding. For demonstration purposes, I have set up an Amazon Aurora database in a public subnet with its database port exposed to the internet. And in this case, we can see that Amazon Guard Duty has detected a successful brute force attack on the 15th of May, 2023 at around 7.19 p.m. in my local Singapore time. And it is coming from a previously unseen external actor with IP address 42.61.231.170 hosted by internet service provider named Singtel Fiber Broadband. Amazon Guard Duty provided us further insights into this attack. You can see that it has detected 1,330 failed login attempts and one successful login. This is categorized as a high severity finding because there is a consistent pattern of failed login attempts from a public IP address, which indicates overly permissive access policies on our Amazon Aurora database 
and this is potentially an unauthorized access. From this security finding, we can also see that Amazon Guard Duty has provided us database details, and in this case, it is a MySQL version 5.7, and the Amazon Aurora MySQL database engine is version 2.11.2. And we also have the full database ARN telling us which region and account ID this affected database resides in. There are other RDS protection findings in addition to what I have just showed you. For example, RDS anomalous behavior successful login. This finding informs you that an anomalous successful login was observed on an RDS database in your AWS environment. This may indicate that a previous unseen user logged in to an RDS database for the first time. Depending on the contextual information, the severity can be low, medium, and high. Let's take a look at this in more detail. I have two Amazon Guard Duty RDS protection findings here. The first one has a low severity because the username RDS proxy admin associated with this finding logged in from an IP address that is associated with a private network. Now, this would have been a medium severity if the username associated with this finding logged in from a public IP address. The next finding I have shows a high severity because, again, there is a consistent pattern of failed login attempts from a public IP address, which is indicative of overly permissive access policies. We can also see that there is a successful login. Now, going back to our Amazon Guard Duty RDS protection finding types, we can also see other findings such as RDS anomalous behavior field login, which one or more anomalous field logins were observed on an RDS database in your AWS environment. A field login attempt from public IP address may indicate that the RDS database in your account has been subjected to an attempted brute force attack by a potentially malicious actor. This is different from a successful brute force attack finding. Further, if you have defined your own threat IP list, which is a list of known malicious IP addresses in Amazon Guard Duty, or if it is deemed by Amazon Guard Duty to be a known malicious IP address, you would get this RDS malicious IP caller successful or failed login findings. Next, the discovery finding type is when Amazon Guard Duty detects reconnaissance activity against your Amazon Aurora database by a known malicious IP address, though no login attempt was made. We also have similar detection for successful and failed login attempts and discovery reconnaissance findings, except in this case, the threat actor is from a Tor exit node IP address. Tor is a software for enabling anonymous communications. It encrypts and randomly bounces communications through relays between a series of network nodes. The last Tor node is called the exit node. This can indicate unauthorized access to the RDS resources in your account with the intent of hiding the anonymous user's true identity. Something to note is that RDS protection in Amazon Guard Duty analyzes and profiles RDS login activity for potential access threats for this currently supported Amazon Aurora MySQL and PostgreSQL database engine versions you may wish to visit this link for future up-to-date database engine versions. And that's it. 
I have explained the Amazon Guard Duty RDS protection feature and showed a brief walkthrough of example findings generated by Amazon Guard Duty. Thank you for your time and make sure to consult the Amazon Guard Duty documentation for more information on RDS protection.